Hello everyone and welcome to episode number three of Oak Street Zoo. We are back in my franchise zoo and I'm so thankful that you tuned in again to my channel. So thank you for that and welcome in today's episode. Today, as a little bit of a um, look ahead, we will be making sure that everything run, runs accordingly in here. So potentially we will not bring in a new animal, maybe some exhibit animals uh, potentially, but I'm not like super sure if we should do it. Um, and I want to address some things you guys commented on lately. Um, so in case uh, you have something to mention, uh, please make sure to jump in the comment section down below and let me know if you spot something I did wrong or whatever let me know um, but we have to make ourselves a little bit of an overview so money wise it's running kind of well uh, we have the zoo running uh, pretty nicely the the vet research is running as well so we're going a bit better into direction of education um, I think stuff wise we already did um, upgrade two of our keepers I want to upgrade also one of my caretakers now and give all the vendors already uh, the first little boost because um, yeah we will need them and the vets uh, you know what we can we can give them a booth as well why not so you can see they have all a pretty high workload therefore we are just going to check if we can improve this somehow um, I'm gonna say that you know this this one keeper who's um, who's in that area has two things to do and there's the other one with the lemur habitat that should work I think we're going to employ a third one just to make sure that this first area just works fine and uh, so this guy is also going to work in the first work zone which is the uh, mixed habitat entrance so they do care for this exhibit over here and they do care for this mixed habitat with like all in the forage box right here and uh, picking <laughs> the little antelope here in in the middle i guess um yeah, they do have some issues with the space. We are going to sell now some of the animals um, simply to make sure that we, you know, um, that we make some space and also get some credits and stuff. I think that's the better idea because the animals are not doing super well. Um, so we're going to go to some animals and you can really tell that they are all not doing great. We are going to sell the um, younger ones, I guess, because um, the older ones are still doing fine and good and, you know, um, so we're going to sell those. Uh, I'm going to release them to the wild. That's the better description um, so now as we've done that we can also go back and uh, get away with the contraceptive so they can make babies again if we want um, I think the same goes with the warthogs on this side here so um, we're gonna keep the old ones um, so these are that is fine it's gonna release them to the wild as well it's not gonna give us like super massive conservation credits but it's still making the whole thing a little bit uh, better in terms of the whole overview. We do have uh, quite some of the Thompson's gazelle, but I, I think it's fine. They they are kind of cool because they run around and they're pretty small, so that should be fine. And also, what's going on down here? Conservation. Okay, we're gonna get get a start here. Is there like a community challenge at the moment? Ah, from India. So we don't have any Indian animals at this point in time. Okay, but we just you know managed to do this quite well. Um, I want to make sure also what is going on with uh, the negative impact. I think there's all going fine so far. Crime, there's not like super much crime going on. And guess, so there is a little bit of education missing over here, which we, need, we are going to fill in. There is a void in here, which we are needing to fill, and there's a void in here. So this is what we are going to uh, look at first, okay? So we're going to go facilities, and then we say, is this like edu, yeah, okay, education is enough if we do it. Mate, you having some, some issues? You're not doing well, do you? Ah, there you go. We just placed something down and doing better again. Whatever. Okay, so we're going to put these things down here. Um, oh, I didn't click right. So there you go. And then we put like a, a few more education boards down. Um, I think there's a good space to put one exactly in here. There you go. We can never have enough education. And then as we said, there is a bit of a void in here in the middle. So we're going to put um, this one going to go right into here. I think it's looking kind of cool if there's almost like a speaker that comes out of this wooden pattern here. So I'm going to put this here and then uh, we're going to say... I'm not sure which animal... Let's talk about the Thompson's gazelle, I guess. And then... Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm going to move this slightly over. I'm just going to... Uh, wait, no. We're going to keep it where it is. Um, and then we just need to make sure that this one over here is having a slightly lower radius because it is already having like a massive radius anyway. So I'm just going to tune this down once. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. Okay, cool. So we've done that. As you can see, there's also not too much education going on here. So we are going to put down another piece right here into that corner. 
there we go and this is going to talk about deforestation why not um deforestation that's the wording i just always always go on the wrong one and i want to have like climate change here why not do we have also climate change in here already no we don't but two times zero deforestation uh whatever okay so giant forest scorpion goes here and also here and then you know since this is pretty simple we can we can just put that like speaker in here so there you go and then this is the giant forest scorpion and we're just going to increase this radius quite a bit so there you go um so they are educated as well i think we are we're also missing like a toilet badly yes toilet is something we have to look at I'm not like sure where to put it exactly. So there are a lot of people. We could put one here. Um, we could also put one here, just behind that one. And then there is this entrance area. You know, I'm not willing to put it in the middle here because that's kind of pointless. Do we actually have space available? Yes, we do have. We could put it just simply in there. Why not? You know, that would be a good spot to do it. Okay, let's go to facilities. Guest facilities, toilet, it's not, edu it's not like necessarily education though. Um, so let's just move that up until we have it the right height and then just move it in. Why not? Just like, let's get it as close as we can. Boom, there you go. It's nicely hidden, it's perfect. They can just go in and um, yeah, we do have the toilet block here. So what we need to do is we're gonna go and say 45 cents, there you go. And then um, I, I guess it would also make sense to have like another caretaker uh, because at the moment, I guess, how many caretakers do we have? Oh, one. Okay, so there's another one going in here and this guy is going to get a new work zone and he's going to work in that zone only. And how's there no staff room in? What, whatever, you get this staff room too, but that's fine. Um, and this is going to be care care entrance i'm gonna call it that way we have to kind of follow a certain naming i think we just call that care entrance and then everything we call care is meant to be exactly you know this in the in the middle here um all right so in order to make some money we have done everything we could here at the beginning like i'm, I'm you know before we go on i'm just gonna make this look a bit better here i'm gonna put some some more stuff down uh in order to make this look a bit more nice this is also the opportunity which I'm taking to talk about one thing that uh, especially um, some people commented on the video and they were like, hey, you know, um, it's a bit weird. It almost doesn't feel like your zoo. You were just putting down some some people's uh, blueprints and you just didn't do so much yourself. And, you know, I think there are two things to that. So first of all, as I said, I wanted to make this like a community community zoo as well as something that I do. Um, but at the end of the day, this project is more so something that is building off of your blueprints. And as I said already in my Discord, I'm not willing to have like fully fledged uh, habitats from you guys. I want to have parts of habitats. I want to have pieces. I want to have climbing rigs and stuff like that. You know, all that kind of stuff that you do need to make stuff quicker and still looking nice. And um, to a certain degree, yes, this should not be my zoo, okay? I think it's, it's fair to say that I'm not aiming for making just another project which is only Rudy, you know? I do have a very strict kind of rule to myself that in in most of my creative parks and sandbox parks, I do not allow myself to use any blueprint, even though sometimes it would make sense because there's just so much good stuff on the workshop I could use, but I'm just like, no, it should be mine. And there is, in the past couple of weeks and months, there has, you know, developed a certain um, let's let's say imbalance um, between making stuff myself and, and producing content that you guys like. Because at the end of the day, you guys seem to like exactly this. You guys like this kind of format where you put some stuff in and you know, it's, it's, it's kind of something that you guys um, love to see as well. And I always felt the urge to, to build stuff myself and make it way bigger than it actually needs to be. And I just spend so much time in doing small things that could have done, been done way easier. And you know, my philosophy always was to make sure that the content I produce is, um, wait a second, wait a second, can you escape now? Oh, wait, 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 oh, 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 this is not a great thing. Uh, before, <laughs> that was, that was very, that was close. Okay, so I, wait, wait, where, where did I create the problem? I 
think I created that somewhere here. Let me just quickly see. Um, I'll, I'll continue my point. I'm just a bit confused right now. Um, so I probably need to bring in this piece somewhat like so. Let me like tilt it like this. There you go. They shouldn't be able to move through there anymore. And I guess it would be easy to take that smaller one to block off this area. And hopefully then I'm just quite happy I just caught that um, because that would have been quite problematic. So just before it is going to escape, uh, there you go, we fix it. Okay, cool. Now, again, as I said, and um, I, I think now creating this series with mostly your pieces, um, it I thought it would feel more weird but I, honestly i think it doesn't feel bad at all i think it's it's the perfect kind of uh, synergy between you bringing stuff in but you know i'm not making content only out of your stuff it's not like i'm only showcasing you know i'm not like sitting here and and creating um just a, a little tour like i sometimes did for haribo but again this is just because i love that project so much and i think he deserves this little bit of exposure but it's not like that i make some some easy content out of it and this is what i totally dislike you know people that only take the content of people to make their own content out of it this is not and i'm really in case you feel that way that i'm doing this with this zoo please let me know in the comments down below and i'm always happy to try try and change things up a little bit because this is the least thing I want to do. I want to make sure that you guys are always feeling that this project is kind of ours, you know, that you bring in some stuff and and I just assemble that. I feel I'm like the assembly master, if you will, okay? So I'm the one who, who's bringing that all together and making it kind of look good together and, and work well. And exactly that's what we're doing. We're trying to make this, this zoo work well rather than um, making this a kind of showcase of your stuff okay i'm trying to to utilize your stuff as much as i can and in the best way possible and uh yeah just you know just creating stuff like that you know pretty simply um nothing more nothing less so that this kind of just feels coherent and you can all find your own creations in here and i'm just hoping that you guys feel happy seeing your own creations in as dommel for example with his building i never planned to make like this full house to be honest but um i think it was just spot on and why shall i you know spend so much time doing that for the same result at the end of the day it it, it, it definitely is going to be the same result no matter if he's doing that or if i'm doing this okay one thing though i just wanted to make sure is how much space do you guys need you still have some okay so because the reason i am asking is i thought we can just bring the red rough lemurs in here as well ostrich is about to inbreed how wait how did i did i sell the wrong ones wait a second but we only having these two right um okay so if, if that's the case let me just quickly check uh, yep, so that means I sold the wrong one. So, okay, so gonna get get a female ostrich in that kind of... So, okay, let's just first of all go for a female ostrich here. Um, it's the common ostrich, right? <laughs> there you go. I was looking for O, but it's not. Common ostrich, yes. Give me one, and I'm gonna have like a female... Uh, uh, hello, yes, taking you. That's that's an easy easy cheap thing. Okay, while we are looking at that, I wanted to go for the red ruff red ruffed lemur. We are in my storage. That's why. <laughs> oh god, my mistake. Um, so it's gonna be R. There you go. Red panda, red ruffed lemur. There you go. Let's filter for that one. And well, it doesn't matter if male or female. Just gonna get some cool ones. This is good. And. Not like super expensive, are they? Not really. Getting that one too. And then I'm going to get some female ones. Uh, if it's gonna load. If it is gonna load, there you go. Um, that one is, yeah, that's decent. I take that, it's fine. Uh, isn't that gonna, whatever. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these cheaper ones. Oh, that was another male. Oh, Rudy. Deep breath, you are stupid. <laughs> Uh, the females are quite expensive though, but, um, oh, there's another one, look at that. This is, yeah, I'm just taking that as well from Frontier Zoo. No, that's fine, that's fine. I think we have enough now. I almost feel like the, 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 the two, but anyways. Um, so we're gonna have, uh, oh, I just had one female. Okay, never mind then. So I'm gonna move them also in the uh, ringtail lemur habitat. Because again, I think they have enough privacy 
it's actually really good for them how they live. So oh, that was wrong. Um, so not really having a big problem with those. I'm gonna keep. It doesn't matter, I need two females rather than two males. Whatever, I'm just gonna put them in and then hopefully they get some babies soon. Right, so we, we've checked that and... Uh, oh wait, did they just inbreed then? Oh no, I, I, I gave her the contraceptives just in time. Okay, so that should be brought over. Um, one thing I need to put down as well are some more bins, I guess. So we are just trying to find some more spots. There's another one, just put one more here. And one more here. Yeah, and as I said, guys, I really hope that you guys enjoy the series as it is right now. Oh, we don't have a mechanic. That is an issue here. Uh, mechanic, there you go. Can you please fix that for us? Awesome. And while he's fixing this, we are just giving that thing the right brick uh, pattern as kind of a little, you know, scenery element uh, that hopefully helps keeping that area look somewhat more nice and just keeping that fairly open now the rest can be a wall just giving that a wall. I, I, I think we need more facilities here anyway so I'm just gonna keep that a little bit bigger to the back side um, just in order to make sure that there is some space given for us in our if if we need like another uh, staff room or something in here we do have the space and I guess that's uh, that's a good idea Okay, that's the window piece. There you go. The animals has arrived in the zoo. Um, oh, we need also some more education boards then for the red raft now. Um, like I want to have, I want to have a different roof. I think we're gonna go with the concrete roof. It fits to the uh, sheltered piece we had there. And um, also, yeah, let's just try and go with a little bit more small, so it can overlap a little bit, so it's looking like a little bit more like a proper house you know there you go just put that in another one and another one you know <laughs> uh so here you go just put that all in just copy this one uh oh that was stupid i could have just do it that way did it that way that would have been so much more easy inspector arriving in two months that's a good one because i the, the zoo runs quite well i guess so um yeah i'm not having too many issues if if the if just dude is coming. I do want to make like another central roof here. I guess uh, just having this one looks a bit nicer in contrast because that's kind of a roof no one really cares for. So yeah, just putting that down and making this look a bit more city standardish, you know, just like that's it. And we can put something in front here. I'm not sure what is going in front here. I'm thinking that potentially we can even make some, some food stuff and just some seating area maybe in that corner not like 100% sure yet if you have an idea what we could put in here just let me know or maybe some other you know what we could do I think that would be fairly easy we could put some other yeah why not we're just gonna put two more uh, exhibits in okay um, let me see what you guys provided as blueprints because there's some cool stuff we could maybe utilize um, I love that one by the way this is the Oak Street sign um, I am This is so cool, you know. It would like fit like super well in here, um, but it kind of blocks the view a little bit. I, I guess it would be more something for like here, you know, so like that. Yeah, I'm not like, uh, maybe here. I mean, we do have the money. It doesn't matter. We're not putting it down yet, okay? So I, I'm not, I'm not feeling it yet. So we need to. We're looking at later. We're making some decent money, by the way. Uh, we have adopted habitat species. Oh, before we go on, I, I do forgot if we uh, do forget this otherwise. So we have the education board here. So we are going to put down some more uh, edu education uh, here, just in front of this one. There you go. This is going to be the red raft then. There you go. And then we also need some speakers. So there's one speaker. Um, We've got two speakers there and talking about the ring tailed. You know what? We can just change that one to the red rough then because then we have two education stuff going on. I think that should be better. People are doing really great, which I love. I love a lot. Mm, okay, that's kind of cool. I think I like that a lot. Um, but, but, but with this little empty void here in the middle, we need to fill in and this stuff here. Yeah, so first of all, again, I'm looking into the blueprints you guys provided. If there's anything I can use for 
classic health with two shots. I love that one so much. Like there, so I want to have that like further in the back here once we have like a little plaza or something. And we need some more food and drinks, but I don't want to expand the zoo so quickly. I want to make like another area here. How about the energy, by the way? Power. So yeah, that's the that's the next area where we can do some stuff. And this is another area I can do some stuff. Um, again, I don't want to expand the zoo so quickly. So we do have this backstage area. It makes sense to to you know stay in, in this area here. Don't want them to move that far. Why is there so much litter here? They're like there's literally there's like a bin here. There's like a bin here now. Another one here. Where's the where's the caretaker even? Ah, whatever. Okay, again, looking back into your blueprints, what else? We have this wonderful classic wall, we have this Vienna tea, oh, I love that one so much as well. That's like the perfect thing for like a roundabout you could put here, you know, can kind of create a roundabout around it. That would be so cool. Ah, I'm so tempted to put that down, guys. I'm so tempted to put this down somewhere here, you know, just like in the middle but even would fit look at that so is it connecting to the other side too not really but we can do it ah i'm just putting that down sorry i i just want to have it too much so there <laughs> i'm so sorry i just sometimes i'm i'm just like i need this okay so um i'm just going to make this a little bit more nice looking if it would let me hello now, can you join here nicely and so? Uh, if not, why? Oh, it's because of the water. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Can I just... No, I cannot. Okay, keep it the way it is. Fine, gonna smooth that out. And also, align to grid. We can give this one more and two more. I don't know, just to make sure that we connect these areas nicely indeed. And then we can just smooth out this bit so make it all look... Yeah, that looks a bit better. That looks a bit better. And honestly, now we have this backstage area. Um, the problem is with all these vendors, guys. I, I, okay, so first of all, let's just create, we're just creating this work zone, okay? So new work zone, and this is going to be this, this, and this. And it's gonna be Shops Lemur How. No, I'm gonna call this Shops Vienna Tea House, because that's what it is. And then it should be fine. So we're gonna have this in, and now we have to make sure that we select those two vendors so that they are available in that one. So you go, you go in Shops Vienna Tea House, and oops, hey, dude, dude, I wanna click you, please. I, for some odd reasons, I cannot, okay, I can, I can click him that way, right? Yeah, Federico Hamilton, Federico Hamilton. Okay, so you're gonna go there, right? Okay, awesome. I'm not sure if, like, okay, we have to look into our staff first of all. We do have a whole bunch of vendors. They are not all in the work, in the work zone, you know. Um, we, okay, so I think we only have this shop's entrance. Okay, so we have to put some in the shop's entrance so to make sure that. They are all working in the shop's entrance, okay. Um, and, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna do something which is potentially super stupid, but I'm going to employ three, four more, and I'm going to put these two in the first area. Uh, no, 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 not like mixed, no, no, no. It's the shop's entrance. You are going to go to the shop's entrance. You are going to go to the shop's Vienna tea house and the same for you. Awesome. All right, this is done. Um, so I'm really hoping that they have enough space and stuff to do. We have those two shops now, which hopefully make ourselves some uh, Maxilente. And what's that? Something to drink? Yeah, Cosmic Cow Milkshakes, that's cool. Um, so we have all of that stuff available in here. It kind of makes sense then to have like, okay, so we are just going to do this. I'm going to select grid. It's not really the grid, right, is it? Select grid, can we just somewhere? Okay. There's not a grid available, how and why? 
How is that? Okay, now it works for whatever odd reasons. Okay, so whatever, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna squeeze that in here exquisitely. And then um, somehow, I don't know how, but I need to connect this. Um, so there's a connection that would work. So here it goes. And then <laughs> I, c I cannot really connect that, right? But uh, it doesn't really work. I mean, I. Okay, so let's just delete this one. And then we are just doing something very unpopular, but we're just going to go with like 10 meters. Work like here. And <laughs> that looks so stupid. <laughs> but maybe, may, yeah. It, it, but no, it's it, it's kind of ridiculous. Why is it that way? Okay, maybe I just need to do it. Why am I not able to? Oh, it's because of the water volume. Yeah, no, sure. What? Okay, whatever. Just gonna keep that to eight meters, eight meters, and then let me just, yeah, thank you so, so much. This is going to be like the little, I cannot connect this here. I, I could just try and whatever, make it smaller. Be, <laughs> it's not, still not doing it. Now this work, yeah, finally that works. Dang it, no, 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 don't connect. So here we go, man. Okay, so what I wanted to, <laughs> all the stress for nothing, guys. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that we do get uh, some kind of picnic benches into this area. It's gonna go classic, you know? It's gonna go classic picnic area here. There you go, typical city zoo picnic bench area. Let's give them some umbrellas, you know, just making that look somewhat realistic here. There you go. And we do some small things and we're already done with today's episode. So go back to nature and then we just say again, continent, euro, property, no, not prop, biome, uh, grassland, temperate. I'm just, you know, I'm just using that so that I have the same fauna here and there just to make sure it kind of looks good. Uh, and I'm not going to go crazy too much with the trees and stuff, you know. Um, just putting that in the middle here. And then we also, you know, we can have some of these cypresses. I think in general, I will use a lot more cypress trees in, in this whole series. Is it about to snow or whatever? It's only cloudy, okay. I was fearing it's gonna snow again, uh, but it's potentially not. Just making that look somewhat decent here, you know. Just having two cypress trees and um, yeah, I like that wall quite a bit. So just from this side, I wanna have like a smaller wall only. And then the other one should be a taller one. I had one in my uh, blueprints I, I think I love to use. So just making sure that this all works nice and uh, tidy together. So, you know, stuff like that. You know what we do? We just do bring that in here. So it always looks like a proper connection. There you go. And then there was in the blueprints, there was this wall. Three, ooh. I like it a lot, but it's quite expensive. 280 is that one. 480 is the bigger one. 480. We're making decent money. It's not like we don't have any, but... Ah, uh, whatever. Let's use that one. <laughs> I just want to have this because it's looking cool and so classy. Uh, even though... Uh, is this the... Um, I'm going to lower that down a little bit. I'm just wondering if I can... Yeah, cool, let's paint that. Can we paint them all? Yes, because I want to make sure that this goes a bit better in line with the bluish tint of the other roof we have here. So, like a, it's almost like this kind of blue. Yeah, there you go, this is a bit better. That's a bit better. So we are going to use uh, this color scope. I think that makes a bit more sense. And I like the green in the middle, you know, that's that's rather cool. Um, because this way we could also make like a habitat in the back here later on. Just go here and put even more habitats in. Um, and just making sure that the people are not getting um, lost by standing here and, and looking at the animals. Because this is a, kind of a separate area where they should chill and not like, you know, just not uh, look at animals. Because that would create some ugly, weird 
traffic jams we are not going to want. Um, so just one more rounding off that little wall. Oh, that looks good. That looks good, guys. So this is kind of the little back area here. And then I'm just going to move this to fill in the wall. Look at that. It looks good. It looks actually really cool. So we've got this thing to, to buy some stuff here. I'm just going to bring that one to an end. There's some... So how how is there so much freaking litter? You know what would be cool? I think I'm going to delete this. And can I put... No, I, I, I think I'm gonna to just try and make this look a bit better. Let me move that in. And then this almost looks like a door, you know? I'm just gonna put this one a bit further here. Uh, into maybe maybe there, just in front here. I just wanna make sure that this looks somewhat like an entrance. Um, so we are going to put like a door on top of that one. Why not? You know, just a, just a, just a sing, simple door. So like an, a good looking one, maybe like more like a classical one. There you go. It, it, I think it's fine this way. Which is not, you know, there you go. And then um, I, I use my most favorite piece, which is called plaster. <laughs> and we're just going to lower that one down. Hey, let's lower that down here. And okay, we need to have the smaller one Ready here, here, here. So rotate that a little bit and fill the gap in. Okay, cool. So now what we do just smooth rock in order to not have these things here. And then just, you know, just putting a few more rocks here and there. Oh God, I hate this, that this is not available in. But anyways, okay. 32 minutes and we are nearly there with the episode. I think we call it a day and we just don't do the exhibits, I guess would be best. I'm not sure, like, I, I don't even know what, uh, what animals, and maybe we just do this in the next episode. We've done so much cool stuff in today's episode. We really filled that void in there. We make the management work, and yeah, maybe, you know, just, oh, okay, just to increase the traffic, we're just plopping those two down, okay? I'm just checking if there's any building I can use for that. Um, I want to use this for something else. This is the classic gardening thing. Oh, I love that, too. Also, like the small bus stop, it's just ran. It's just random. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna use that one, even though this is like the entrance building. I would love to have this roundish thing here too. That's looking like a cool exhibit you could place here, you know. That would really suit that area and gives a little bit of a eye catcher. How expensive is that one? I mean, I could also just, you know, I'm just building that myself quickly. I guess that's easy. <laughs> um, I love the idea, but, you know, I'm just going to make this work. Okay, so going to go facilities, uh, small exhibits. And I think we are using that one. We are using this one, guys. Um, and then it's like also double. Yeah, that's the classic double one. I'm going to change this building a little bit. It's like two habitats, one habitat, two habitats. Oh, I know, no, I don't know, guys, I don't know. Even though that looks fairly classic already. I mean, I would love to have this. Nah, I'm just, okay, so I, I do it a bit differently though. I love that, which roof is that? It's the slate roof. Huh, maybe I'm even. Ah, all right, so we could just move that one here. Just copy this one over. This is not going to be open. This is not going to be open neither. And then we're just going to delete that path. But what we do, we're just going to do the step path thing that goes, uh, whoops, right here, right here, right there, right here, right there. Just gonna delete these things. We don't need them. Sometimes we can just use this classic stuff. Why not, you know? It's, it's rather simple, and um, why not use that if it's already given? You know, it's not all bad about these in-game blueprints. It's not all bad. Some of them are not even that bad at all. So, uh, <laughs> it sounds weird, right, saying that this way, but it, it is exactly what I just mean, okay? Sometimes they are just not bad. <laughs> it's exactly this. Um, they do have some cool stuff, though. Never mind. So, just gonna, just gonna make sure that this is a building here. Um... 
yeah, whatever, they just can go through. I'm gonna, just gonna put a door in front. Bloops, there you go. It's almost like a little reptile backside house. That's easy. And now we have done that. This is just like fitting very nicely indeed. Even though it feels like something is missing, okay? So I'm just gonna go to roof. Is there something like a centric? What is, oh, we've got a lemur. Lima baby, Lima baby. I'm just thinking that maybe it looks cool to have still like a spire like that in here. I think it would even fit. Yeah, I mean, we could actually go and do this one. Let's make that a bit more centered. There you go. And then we have this piece. Oh, the other one. Yeah, I like that one more, I guess. Yes. Looks good. And also, I'm just gonna give a little chimney here to the side. Can we just make that? Uh, it doesn't matter, we can just do it that way. So just not, just making sure it's not like going in there, but yeah, no, that's fine. And then, huh, no, this is not one. I, I, I'm looking for like, is there like a clock? I guess there is a, yes, there you go. I think that's exactly the one you would have in here. So like a, all different. I like that they're actually working. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. That gives a bit of a nice view. Okay, you're looking at the animals from over here. That is quite interesting. Okay, let's go to exhibit 36 minutes. We are somewhat getting into the 40 minutes again. I haven't expected that. We have nothing in the storage. Let's see which kind of the ones are. <sighs> they are exciting, they say. Mm. I like iguanas. I like iguanas. Okay, so we've got the iguana. You know what? If, if we do so, this is going to be the iguana iguana uh, uh, area, okay? It's iguana apes. Igu <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. Um, okay, no, that's the, the wrong lesser Antillian and the green, green iguana too. And I guess, so we have no male green iguana, do we? And the female, <laughs> sure. So we have both of them, we don't. Um, there's a male, that's good. Adopt that one. So we do have both of them, right? Yes, that's good already. Just gonna put one in here and the other one too. And we can put the lesser Antillian in here as well. And we still don't have, okay, so we can, we can already get rid of the green one because that one is done. Awesome, reset, no, refresh, no, my, my mistake. So lesser, where is it? Lesser Antillian, still not, still not a female. Okay, let's leave that filter in. And we're just gonna go and say green, lesser Antillian, there you go. Let's fix the habitat quickly. Oh wow, it's already done. So let's, yeah, just move it a bit so it's set and a little bit more humidity. We have researched that one already, so it gets all what it needs. It is a very happy animal. Good, 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 good. So that one is also not set, 27, there you go. And same for you, you get all the other stuff and you get all the lamps, there we go. Okay, so we don't have anyone working in here, but we can actually do this quickly by editing the lemur island and iguanas, there you go. And we edit the work zone and we edit these two things in. That's great. We do have a big kitchen in here, don't we? Yeah, it's a big kitchen. Okay, cool. Now this is then the proper work zone. He's lemur, island, and iguanas. I think we can, can we employ a second keeper already? Because one might be having a bit too high workload, but it's okay, I can I can still see that. This this dude has still some quite a <laughs> lot of work to do. The vendors also are pretty, pretty stressed. Um, shops entrance, they still have so much high work. Let's increase their skill level maybe that's helping a bit same with you yeah no, that should be fine guys we are really having a blast in here this is insane this really looks look at that this is already like thumbnail worthy uh we are really really getting into the vibe of the city zoo 
I am really, really looking forward to what is going on uh, in the later stage because it, it's getting a lot better. And just to my point, I mentioned in between, the way you guys provide the blueprints helps me a lot to go on in that kind of way. So in case you want to provide stuff, make sure to, to look at the episodes, make sure where you see some voids to fill. So exa exactly this one over here might be one of those. If you want to make like a little planter or maybe a fountain or something, this could go well in here. Um, and in case you want to do something else like little gap fillers, uh, I'm always happy to so see those. And in case you have any other idea, you know, to give me some cool stuff, make sure to just drop it into my Discord channel. And yeah, that's it for today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a blast doing this again, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to consider subscribing. That helps me, the channel, and so on and so forth. You know it. And just make sure to stay safe, and we see each other in the next one. Until then, have a good time, and goodbye, everyone.